Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this tutorial is going to show you how easy it is to customize the flag animations that come with the Dream Frontiers Environment Pack or the Dream Frontiers Essentials version which comes free with Spryder Pro. So first I'm going to navigate to the Castle Exterior Environment and the Daytime folder and you'll see there's a folder called Spryder Torch and Flag. I'm going to go there and if I look in the images, you'll see there's only one flag texture image in this main image folder. Now, despite the smoothly animated flags you just saw, believe it or not, that one image is the only image you will need to edit in order to uh, customize the flag. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to go back one folder and I'm going to open up the flag creator SCML file. And you'll see that in this Spriter file, we just have the flags themselves without the flagpole. And what's special about this Spriter file is that it's using only that one image in conjunction with what is known as the skin mode in Spriter to be able to actually warp and deform the one image to make a smoothly animated uh, fluid animation. In the description of this video, I will be linking to another video that covers skin mode in more depth, but you're not going to need to use skin mode to customize the appearance of the flag. So the first thing we need to do is open up the flag texture image into whatever your uh, whatever is your favorite graphics program. I'm going to be using Krita from Krita.org, or I guess it's technically pronounced Krita. And now just edit this image however you see fit. There we go. So now I'm just going to save this over the original file. And now if we go back into the actual um, flag creator spider file, when you load it or if you click this little image reload, you'll see the flag animations now play with your own customized image. But we're not done yet because while skin mode is fantastic if you plan on exporting your finished animations as full frame sequential images or sprite sheets, the skin mode feature is not supported in any of the Spriter runtime APIs. Meaning if you want to play back the actual Spriter file instead of just exported sprite sheets in your game engine, then we're going to need to take another step. We're going to need to export this from this special flag creator SEML at a specific frame rate, and then those images that are exported will be used in the other Spriter file, which does not use the skin mode, it uses the uh, sort of uh, full frame images of each flag animation and attaches it to the flagpole. And all we have to do to do that is choose File, Export Animation to PNG and GIF, and then um, we're just going to choose Batch Export. Make sure this is set to animation presets and you can expand here to see what's going on. Make sure the uh, proportions are at 100% in both uh, dimensions. And make sure it's set to separate numbered image files. And we don't need the basic animation exported so you can uncheck that. And these are the ones we want and these are the number of frames that are going to be exported for each one. And as you can see, it's basically set to 24 frames per second. And uh, make sure you get the same thing, basically 17, 23, 26, 17, 23, 26. And click Batch Export. And this part's also very important. So I'm just going to make a new folder for now, just to double check before I uh, save over the original files. So I'm going to make a new folder. There we go. And I'll just save them in this new folder. And I'm just going to type the letter A for the name because it's going to automatically append other naming information based on the name of the entity and the name of each animation. And click Save. So now it's exporting every animation at the required trimming and the required frames per second. There. Okay, now that it's done exporting, I can close Spriter for now and I can go to that new folders image to take a look and make sure all of my images exported successfully, which they have. I will select them all and copy. And now I can replace all of the other flag images that we're replacing in the flag images folder. Replace the files. 
There we go. Now you can see all of the files are successfully replaced. So now we can load up the actual Spriter file called flags instead of flag creators. And so now you can see your newly customized flag. All animations playing back uh, what should be nice and smoothly, but for some reason the screen recording process is just ruining the frame rate here. Sorry about that. But uh, nice smooth 24 frame per second flag animations ready to use, either re-exported uh, as sprite sheets or um, keeping it as the actual spriter file and playing, playing back using one of our spriter runtime APIs. Thanks very much for watching.